Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be replacing the outer brake lamp uh, unit, the assembly, on a 2007 BMW X5. This is the E70 body style. And uh, this is the new unit here, um, just to show you. On the existing one, I've already replaced uh, the both the sockets and the bulbs in there. So I know that the ones in the car right now are good. I'm still getting the brake lamp warning so there is a problem with the unit so I'm going to have to replace that. Um, so this is the new unit. I'm just going to have to take the nuts off these uh, three screws here and then the, the unit can come out. Uh, we'll just un un unplug the electrical connector and I'll just walk you through all the steps. Alright so I've actually got the problem on both sides of my car so I'm going to go ahead and start on the uh, left side here. So take that out and you can see that, uh, pull that out, the, uh, the connections are in the back here. So on the existing one, we can see that those are the three nuts we're going to have to take out. And we'll pull those out, and then we'll have to undo the electrical connector here to pull those out. All right, so to take these out, I've got a small uh, socket wrench here. This is the 8 millimeter socket and I'm just going to go um, take these three out. They actually come out pretty easy. You have to loosen them up and then you can take them off with your hand. So uh, like I said there's just three of these here, there, and there. And I'll just take the three nuts off. So the last thing you do here is just undo the electrical connector and pull that out. Uh, and then I think we can go ahead and pull the unit out of the car. So now, get that out, see the whole unit will just come out like that. So now we've got the old unit out. You'll notice uh, this black thing goes on the inside. And uh, all I have to do now is just reverse the process, put the new unit in plug in the electrical connector and three nuts. Okay, so I'm putting the new unit in here and you can see this plastic piece goes on the outside up here. So you want to just slide that the whole unit into position. This still has the protective film on. I haven't taken that off yet. Wait till I get everything seated in here. I've got that in there and I'm going to go ahead and put these nuts on right now so it doesn't fall out. And get those on there just uh, finger tight right now and then after I get these in I will do the uh, let's put the electrical connector back on and then I can so now I can stick the electrical connector in there make sure that clicks in there and then uh, just take the wrench and uh, tighten each one of these up. Okay, so I've tightened those back in there. Um, just another thing to know is when you're doing that, you want to get these, you know, snug. You want to get them tight, but you don't want to over torque it so uh, that you break through the plastic. There's a rubber gasket that goes around this. You want to keep it snug enough so that the water doesn't get in, but you don't want to break those off. So now what I'm going to do, now that I put the left side in, I'm going to start the car and see if I can get the um, warning just to come up on the right side instead of both the left and the right side. 